Uh, police, they have been, there has been an outcry for so long that they, have, they live in very deplorable conditions, especially when it comes to their housing. Um, what's the plan to change this state of affairs? I agree with you and uh, we are very, very, very concerned about the deplorable situation of the living quarters of police officers. So not only police officers, even prison warders, even uh, immigration officials. Uh, we are trying to get to do our level best to alleviate that by further construction. We are trying to engage uh, public-private partnerships so that we build uh, police, police quarters and relieve the suffering of uh, our police personnel. And then their salaries. Um, I understand the lowest, I think a constable earns about 470,000 shillings. That money in the current economy is almost like just how you go to a, a shop and you carry, you can shop and carry the entire 450 in one basket. Uh, what's the plan to ensure that these officers who are charged with the responsibility to guard billions and lives, um, they, 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 they earn a, a fairly better salary? They are sacrificing because I agree with you, the amount of money we pay them is not uh, a living wage. We are looking forward to that time when we shall have enough resources to pay a living wage. And that's why I was talking about rationalization. Rationalization of resource uh, uh, allocation. In terms of rationalization, what exactly no, do you mean? Well, that one is wide. We've been merging agencies, we've been my well, you know, doing all sorts of things to try to save money and r remove it from more. Uh, Yes, what the causes, but to more uh, urgent uh, um, areas. The numbers are still few. They are limited in terms of uh, police, the ratio of uh, police to population. Um, what's the plan? The plan is to do the ideal. The ideal is to increase the number of uh, policemen to the international level of one to 500. We are operating at one to almost 900. The, but then you see our resource envelope does not allow that rapid expansion. And then there was also another issue of transfers of uh, police, especially the officers who are married, legally are married. Uh, you find some are transferred. Let's say a husband has been transferred to, let's say, Mbali. The, the wife is in Kampala. And uh, according to, to the code, they are supposed to be operating within the same area. That's an administrative issue and according to the attention of the, of the chief of personnel and, and uh, we shall rectify uh, that, 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 that pro problem if a way it exists at all. So, however, sometimes you find couples who want to live uh, apart or who, have, who can't work because of proximity, you know, they have misunderstanding and uh, so the, the police authorities say, oh, okay, so did you go to Barara and meanwhile you, uh, you remain this lady remains in Kampala? Uh, there is a feeling that actually when it comes to policing, um, the government or the authorities in charge like police, they tend to protect more the government, especially when there is um, a protest like the recent protest about the oil pipeline when EU passed a resolution uh, stopping uh, Total from continuing with uh, its plan to, to build a pipeline. Uh, there was a demonstration that happened peacefully, but when the opposition tried to demonstrate, they are, they are bundled and put on pickups and uh, put in jail. Should we kneel down and recite Rosary when people are co 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 causing mayhem in, in town? No. The police which is constitutionally mandated with maintaining peace and order, we move against them. Uh, and if they think they're being unfairly treated, let them go to court. But every time they try to ask for permission, it's like automatic. They will never be granted permission to demonstrate fully and peacefully, even if they, even if they mention an area or, uh, let's say, space. I've not heard of that. If it, if it was there, why don't they complain to me? I am the man in charge of internal affairs. 
I've never seen anybody come to me and complain that he or she has asked for peaceful demonstration. You know, not permission, you know, inform the police that they want to do peaceful demonstration. And the police has consistently said no. And then there is like perennial corruption. Now, the corruption within police, it has been another area that everybody has complained about. Different reports have come out to show that police is one of the most corrupt institutions. But corruption is not only the, the, the police. Corruption is, a, it has become a disease, it's, a, it's endemic. Uh, you go to the land office, you go to the markets, you go to, you know, literally everywhere you go, you hear people complaining. You hear people complaining. That's something that we've got to address together as a country, as a country. Considering the current rebel attacks, plus also the attacks on police, people seem to be worried that uh, they may not enjoy the festive season. What assurance do you give them? It takes two to tango. The police will do its level best to do patrols, uh, police patrols, uh, where they will have withdrawn the, the outposts. But the patrols will be conducted by squads big enough to defend themselves. So the patrols will ensure that there is no crime in the, in the areas. And the population is requested to report anything so they deem suspicious. Yeah. Is there a good news? I don't think so.